What's going on YouTube? It's your man Uncle Demi and we are finally wrapping up the Meta Build series with Volume 10. And I'll be honest with you, this has been really, really, really fun. This series has been really fun. Um, you know, to be making all these rare builds and then to finally be able to convert over a little bit and discuss and have an open discussion about these meta builds has been 100% enjoyable. Um, <clears throat> just to have the opportunity to make them and to be able to look inside and be like, it's, it's, there's no secret to why these builds are the most popular, right? But I will say this. Out of all the builds, this one right here has Uncle Demi's heart. <laughs> all right. This right here is literally the most popular build on the game as to now. Like, really, like, there's not many games I go by when I do not see a slashing playmaker. All right. A slashing playmaker is 100% fun. I've never seen anybody say, yo, I don't like playing on this build. Right. Like, there's no way possible that you're not going to like have, having fun playing with this build and it is unstoppable so to have something that's fun and unstoppable of course you do have to play it a certain way but on fun and unstoppable this is the the craziest iso build this can finish at the basket ridiculously and that's what makes it fun so let's just hop right into it all right so of course you know what pie chart you want to use all right you want to go with the slashing and playmaking all right I know a lot of y'all or a lot of people like to use this chart right here, right? And to me, I'm just like, why? Why use this when this build literally can finish at the basket, give you all the contact animations, right? This one right here can only go but so high, right? So being, meaning like you'll be able to get to an 84 um, driving dunk, right? If you do it the right way, but you still need 85 to get all the contact dunks and then if you want to get all the alley-oop animations you need 90 so it's like why you see the ball handling's a 95 with this build the ball handling's a 92 there's not much of a difference look at the defense here all right 76 73 77 look at the defense here you see what i'm saying so it's like there's no big difference between the two other than one can finish way much better at the basket, right? The shooting's a little bit better here, 80 to 75, right? Which is good. Here, you have a 74 and a 64. But the thing is, when you get the badges, all the badges that you get, it just makes more sense to me, all right? And honestly, when it's all said and done, I have two friends that have both type of builds. And the one that has the pie chart like this <laughs> is ridiculous, all right? Just because he finished at the basket and gets the dunks and you can throw him oops. He's just a monster. You can just tell off rip that he's just a better athlete, a better athlete, right? Just hands down, right? So then, of course, you want to go with the tight party chart here. Gives you the most speed, acceleration, right? And then here, you're going to max out the top, right? An 89, that's just crazy, right? You want to max this out, right? And then you want to go to a 65 here. That gives you 20 four finishing badges all right then you want to go ahead and go max these out right two right and that gives you exactly five shooting badges all right then you right and then go up here to three that gives you 23 playmaking badges all right then of course you want to max out your perimeter your lateral quickness your steals and then your defense and that gives you nine defensive badges. All right, now look, you look at this build, I know some people are gonna be like, well, if you get the playmaking chart, you get 30 playmaking badges. What the heck are you gonna do with 30 playmaking badges? Like, like you know how I am about utilizing the badges the right way to be able to get, you know, the actual badges that you're looking to have, right? I mean, based upon your play style, okay? With this build here, you're gonna be ISOing. 100%. You're going to ISO. You're going to have two shooters out there in the corners or one that, and you're going to ISO, and nobody can stay in front of you. Slashing is the most overpowering build in the game. No one's going to be able to stay in front of you. Put this in the right hands of anybody. They can get to the rack anytime they want. I mean, if I had a dollar for every single time my boy was like, yo, hold on, okay, everybody watch out quick. I might get a quick bucket. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> they can't stay in front of me, right? And even if he do, he gets on my hip. It's a contact dunk, all right? So the fact is, is that 
you just you don't use 23 is good 24 is ridiculous and i'm gonna show you how ridiculous that can get five shooting badges are just right and i'm gonna show you why those five shooting badges are just right and the nine defensive badges are just right too right so let's go here we want to go ahead and get our we want to stay built for this one and i'm gonna show you why because when we go six five right now all of a sudden you are and this is what i was getting to you are just so much bigger than everybody else out here if you're a slasher you want to get bulky right but you're so much bigger six three six four let's just be honest um at six five this is just ridiculous you're just going to be so much taller and you can see the difference when you're on the court and that's what you have to have this build in your hands and see what a six five slashing playmaker looks like going against a six three whatever okay you're going to out rebound them you're going to jump over them you're going to get crazy contact dunks you're just going to be bigger right then you want to go ahead and get your, your um all the way down to 175 that gives you acceleration at 95 all right you have your wingspan you want to drop it down to 77 all right so that gives you a 91 ball handling a 76 mid-range a 66 three-point shot which you will get to 70 when you hit 99 with this right and you can sh you damn sure will be able to shoot at a 70 three-point shot with this build consistently all right you have a 90 driving dunk off rip that's what you need to be able to get all the contact and alley -oop animations you need that you cannot get that with the pie chart of the pure playmaking pie chart all right i'm just letting y'all know which build is fun which build like you can iso up with the other build you can do all the good things you can shoot a little bit better but this build is just a monster it is a better build and you're going to have more fun and that's all i want to say sometimes it's about which one you're going to have the most fun with you're going to have the most fun with this one then you want to go with your slash and takeover of course obviously right and then here you have it the slashing playmaker derrick rose mvp derrick rose you know what i'm saying you know what i mean john wall before the injuries that's great damian little is a slash yeah i can say that he's just all around great he's just all our superstar he slashes yeah he gets to like derrick rose and john wall finish and it's unfortunate that both of them have sustained injuries but those are perfect you know um comparisons right now you want to go here here and we're going to get this dude to a 99 and then we're going to discuss these badges and which ones i think will be the best and just how crazy it is to have this many hall of fame badges so of course you want to go with contact finisher you want to go with giant slayer you want to go with relentless finisher so these four right here are really good you want to go with acrobat you want to go with consistent finisher you want to go with fancy footwork and then you want to go with slithery finisher all right this is crazy all right so you literally have every single slashing badge that's important to any type of slash you're going to the basket all right now i um some of my like you know just by discussing you you can take your relentless finisher off if you don't feel really high i think it's great because if you're constantly going to the basket it just helps with your fatigue you want to at least have as much energy as possible but let's say for instance you someone that like to do a lot of hop steps you can go ahead and get that all right let's say did you like to do a lot of um euro steps then you can go here right so i think between these two you can go back and forth between it it doesn't matter um but you know for me i like to go with my relentless but regardless gold badges on these are perfect like just think about a slasher having these type of badges right just think about it it's crazy it's not fair it's not fair <laughs> all right um here at the shooting this is where you know things get a little tricky right for me, when you're playing as the um, as a guard, you want to make sure that you have your quick draw. For me, quick draws is on silver. Everybody's seen Tysino, and it's so great to see Tysino with silver quick draw because everybody's like silver quick draw. Better than that. I keep saying like, bro, that's all you need. Like, I don't know why people is going to like Golden Hall of Fame. That's all you need. You just need silver quick draw, right? That's all you need. Now, this is where things get tricky, right? So, you can either go range extender or hot zone hunter, right? You can go range extender, which, or hot zone hunter. That's what I think the, the two that you want to go with. Because the fact is, is that most of the time you're going to be going to the basket, passing out for the three, all right? But if, you are, if you're looking for that three yourself, then obviously I think that range extender will be the best for you, all right? But I know some people really like um, hot zone hunter, and, and I feel like, you know, it's either or. But for me, I'm going with range extender. Don't worry about catch and shoot. Don't worry about all those other things because all you really need to do is be able to get yourself open and hit yourself with the range extender, all right, for the three. So that basically means you're having a 70-something open three-point shot when you're open with it, all right? And then your playmaking badges, you want to go, of course, with your ankle breaker. You want to go with your quick first step. You want to you go with your... um 
your um your space your space creator you want to go with your dimer all right you want to go with your handles for days and then the last one is really based upon you now i did find out that um recently through 2k labs that stop and go is not a good badge all right so that literally changes a lot of things it's like wow like it's a really bad badge now right so then you can either go tight handles or you can go unpluckable and to be honest with you I just think tight handles is the way to go, all right? Tight handles is the way to go. There's nothing else in here that you really need. I know for me, like, you know, when you're running with me with a, you know, a lob threat like myself, I always like to have my guy get, you know, this like bronze or silver lob city passer, right? Um, sometimes when you were trying to go for rep, you know, I, I think another good one is to have flashy passer. So it just depends on what your rep mode, but if you're just trying to play whatever straight up, this, these are the best badges. But again, this is my opinion. You know, you do whatever you want. I know that um, downhill is pretty dope to have. Um, if you just want to be able to get the ball and go straight down the court with it, I know I've seen that a lot. Downhill is a really, really good badge. It does boost your ability with the ball going down the court on a fast break. So it's really your call on that. But again, it's your build. You make it any way you want. Now, this is why the three badges are really good. Because now you can go Intimidator, Clamps, and you can go a Pickpocket. I think that is really, really good to have. Um, I know Pick Dodgers want to have, but I'll be honest with you, man. Pick Dodger is really come and go, right? It's really like, I don't know how it is based upon animation. You can have Pick Dodger Hall of Fame and still get completely screened, right? You can have Pick Dodger not at all. It's really about the person setting the screens, to be honest with you, man. And 99% of the time, you're going to be playing a lot of games that aren't comp games. Like, a lot of people just don't know how to set really good screens. So why waste that? I think Pickpocket, Intimidator, and Clamps is really good. Um, I even went as far as to go like this. Just so you can get the um, chase down animation. You know, as a slasher, you can be able to get that chase down animation, right? But I feel like these three are the most important. That's why I think nine is always good for any build. Because like I said, if you look at my bigs, I have nine. Because I think brick wall, intimidator, and rebound chaser. Nine is a very sweet spot of, um, or potential upgrades. I guess nine potential upgrades. You want to have nine potential upgrades. Because this will give you the three most important categories for your players, all right? So anyway... This is the Slash and Playmaker, right? I hope that you enjoyed, you know, the Meta Build series. This is the wrap up of the Meta Build series. If you greatly, I would, I would greatly appreciate it if you, you know, obviously you would drop a like for this video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe. More content is coming out. I have enjo been enjoying this ride. Hopefully, y'all been enjoying this ride. Hopefully, y'all feel like I'm engaged. I try to talk to most of y'all. On my Twitter, at Uncle Demi, you send me DMs of different builds. I, I, I respond back. Hopefully, you the ones that have responded feel like I am being responsive. I do try to respond in all the YouTube comments as possible. Hopefully, y'all feel that I am being responsive and I'm being that type of YouTuber that is engaged. And that's what I always wanted to be. I didn't want to be that YouTuber to make it feel like I was too Hollywood to talk to y'all. And actually, in my mods, if you have been modded and you're added on my friends list, I want y'all to go ahead and let them know how many times I just randomly pop up in your chat. And you're like, yo, oh my God, Uncle Timmy's in here. Hey, what's up? You know what I mean? What's going on, man? I really appreciate you, man. And that's how I'm going to be. I'm going to be that one. I'm going to be the one that's going to be able to communicate, talk to y'all. And hopefully you enjoy this type of engagement. But anyway, guys, other than that, this is your man, Uncle Demi. This wraps up the Meta Bill series. I hope you appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. And of course, you know, I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. I'm out. If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Remember ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell my shit to get rich and go have